Hand over the cheese or I take your knees. I reload my Glock 19mm, my dark beady eyes narrowed as I stare at you with a determined for a rat that I am face. Lola? Now give me your cheese! I point my Glock at you, ready to take your knees. I load the round into the chamber with a click and rack the slide. I have no mercy for men who don't have cheese. Okay, so like, I don't have cheese? But if you shoot me, I won't be able to get cheese either. Maybe if you keep me around, we could find cheese together? <laughs> Fine. I'll let you live. But, if you don't help me find cheese, and I mean some good quality cheese, then I swear that you're gonna lose those knees. Is that clear? Sure. I put my Glock in my holster. Good. I'll give you five days to show progress. If you do, I'll accept you as my cheese hunting partner. Deal? Sounds sweet. As I leave, I turn and give you a stern warning. Don't be late, or else you won't have knees. Cool. I fall asleep for five days. Four to six days later. You hear a tiny voice in the sewer. It's small. Like, smaller than you would have expected. You look around, you spot me. I have not lost the stern, serious look on my face. I'm sitting, crossed paws, holding a piece of cheese I just found. I'm glaring at you. Give me a report of your progress. I took a nap. My beady little black eyes are so full of anger. A nap? A nap, a nap! My tail starts shaking. You took a... I take a deep breath trying to calm myself down. So you've made no progress? I was sleepy. Sorry. It's not okay. You had one job. You had five days. Give me one reason that you shouldn't have a gunshot wound right now. I'm just like you. I love cheese too. In a world with one less cheese lover, the demand for cheese becomes lesser. Simple supply and demand laws would mean that without me, less cheese gets produced. Meaning you have less success at getting cheese while holding people at gunpoint. I stare at you. My tail stops moving. A thoughtful expression on my face. I guess you do have a point. I'll let you live. But if you mess it up again, you're dead. I walk away into the shadows. Okie dokie. I go to store then. Two days later. Two days later, you find him again. Did you get any cheese? He asks you, looking down at you. He points at the Glock in his holster. Remember, my offer stands. You are on thin ice. He has a stern look on his face, but you can see a tiny smile playing with his whiskers. Oh shit, you wanted cheese? I thought you said you wanted bees. Bees? Why the hell would I want bees? He sounds like a little kid throwing a tantrum, and he stares at you from behind his serious rat eyes. Do I look like I need bees? Give me cheese, no! He points at his holster again and takes the Glock out with a clap. I open a box full of bees. The bees start circling around the rat. What, what the hell? He looks at you from across the dark sewers. He is scared. It's obvious by the way he holds his Glock. He backs up, pointing it towards the bees. Wh what the hell are you doing? It seems like he's not a bee lover. Oops, sorry man. I'll see you tomorrow. I leave. 